circuit containing only a pure resistance of R ohms in the AC circuit is known as pure resistive AC circuit. There is no inductance and capacitance in the purely resistive circuit. The alternating current and voltage change the direction every half a cycle. Hence, they follow a shape of sine curve or sinusoidal waveform. The resistor is the passive device which neither produce nor consume electric power. It converts the electrical energy into heat. Now we will see how the circuit behaves when we have an AC supply. As resistor just converts electrical energy to heat, the current will just pass through the resistor and there will be a bit of voltage drop across the resistor. The current and voltage will be in sync when they pass through a circuit which has only resistance. We call this sync as phase. When we look at the sine waves of voltage and current of a pure resistive circuit, it will be like this. The current and voltage are in perfect harmony. This means the voltage and the current are in phase in pure resistive circuit. Along with this, we should also learn about few important equations which helps us in understanding these kinds of circuit better. The first one being the expression for voltage. It's given as V is equal to Vm sin omega t. V is the instantaneous voltage. Vm is the maximum or peak voltage. This is the expression for alternating voltage. Sign term in the expression conveys that it follows a sine wave function. Now, what about current? As we all know, current can be written as voltage over resistance. That is, I is equal to V divided by R, a relation we have got from Ohm's law. If we want the value of instantaneous current I, then I will be equal to V by R. So, I is equal to Vm sin omega t divided by resistance R. But what is Vm by R? It is the maximum current Im. So we get I is equal to Im sin omega t. Therefore, we have two expressions, one for voltage and one for current. Looking at the two equations, we can tell that there is no phase difference because sign terms in both the equations are the same. These quantities can be represented in an easier way through phasar diagrams. Phasar represents the RMS values of the voltage and current quantities unlike a vector which represents the peak or maximum values. Dividing the peak value by root 2, the corresponding voltage current phasar relationship can be represented like this. Both the lines are in sync. Now, the last thing that we need to discuss here is the power expression and power curve. As we know, power is given as voltage into current. And we have already derived the expressions for V and I. So, we can write power expression as P is equal to Vm sin omega t into Im sin omega t. By simplifying, we have P is equal to Vm into Im into sin square omega t. This is the instantaneous value of power. When we simplify this expression further, power will be equal to Vm Im by 2 minus Vm Im cos 2 omega t by 2. We make use of trigonometric formula cos 2 omega t is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square omega t. If we consider the average power over one complete cycle, cos 2 omega t value will be zero because the positive values in the first half of the wave cancel out the negative values in the second half. So we are left with power expression which is equal to P is equal to Vm Im divided by 2. 2 can be written as root 2 into root 2. The value does not change. So P is equal to Vm by root 2 into Im by root 2. These values are nothing but the RMS values of voltage and current. 
Finally, we have power which is equal to VRMS into IRMS or V into I watts. In the power curve, the power will be positive in both the cycle. In negative cycle, though the voltage and current are negative, we get power as positive because a negative value multiplied by another negative value will always be positive. This is all about AC circuit with pure resistance. Understand the expressions for voltage and current and then derive power. To sum up in this video, we learnt instantaneous values of voltage and current. Also learnt how current and voltage are in phase in the circuit. Then we learned how to represent them in a phasor diagram. And at last, we derived the expression for power and plotted the power curve. In the next video, we learn about AC circuits with pure inductance.